na kupenda mume wangu nimebarikiwa kuwa na wewe maishani mwangu Guys that's not my wife talking that is AI voice and so today I'm going to show you the best AI voices in Swahili let's dive right in now the first step you need to open Microsoft Edge browser and then go to any website which has contents written in Swahili open the content that you want to read or rather listen on the address bar there's an icon with a capital letter which says read aloud click the icon and here comes the magic hisa kilichombadilisha mume tabia mume alirejea nyumbani na kukuta ujumbe juu ya meza umeandikwa nimeondoka ilikuwa jioni alienda jikoni na kukuta kukavu aliwaita watoto na kuwauliza wakasema walimuona mama akiondoka na begi lakini hakuwaambia anaenda wapi wow isn't that amazing sounds so natural and so lovely and the great thing is that's not the only voice available there are so many other voices to see the list of all available voices click the voice options here and there's a drop arrow over here just click this voice which is currently selected and the list of all the voices will appear as you can see there are a lot of voices but today we're focusing on swahili voices only so let's choose another voice for now i'm going to choose the voice of a man Microsoft Rafik online. Yeah. Yeah, this is the voice of a man. Over here, you can choose how fast you want the voice to read your text. Let me move this thing to the right of the slider to increase the speed a little. Let's click play once again and listen to this guy. Simu kumpigia lakini ilikuwa haipatikani kabla hajafanya chochote mtoto wao wa mwaka mmoja alikuja akilia na kusema ana njaa. If you want a better reading experience or listening experience, open Immersive Reader by clicking this open book icon which says Immersive Reader and click Read Aloud to listen to your text. Hisa kilichombadilisha mume tabia akishine. Mume alirejea nyumbani na kukuta ujumbe juu ya meza umeandikwa nimeondoka ilikuwa jioni alienda jikoni na kukuta kukavu aliwaita watoto na kuwauliza wakasema walimuona mama akiondoka na begi lakini hakuwaambia anaenda wapi Mume alichanga That was the voice of Zuri from Kenya Let's now listen to the voice of Rehema from TZ Tanganyikiwa alijaribu kuchukua simu kumpigia lakini ilikuwa haipatikani kabla hajafanya chochote mtoto wao wa mwaka mmoja alikuja akilia na kusema ana njaa Ilibidi kuingia jikono na kutaka kupika huu Well let's listen to the men's voices once again So let me select the audio from TZ Huko akitukana matusi yote kila kitu kilikuwa hakuna hapo ndipo alipokumbuka kuwa asubuhi mkewe alimuomba pesa ya kunua chakula akamwambia hana afanye maarifa What about What about Rafiki from Kenya Alikumbuka kuwa asubuhi hiyo hiyo baada ya kumnyima mkewe pesa ya chakula mke alilamika kuwa amechoka maisha yale na yeye akamjibu kama umkechoka si uondoke wanawake wako wengi ukiondoa kitu na weka kitu Hmm I've got to be honest man these guys all sound like Kenyans Matizi people don't sound like that Now in case you're wondering what can I do with these voices I tell you There are lots of things you can do with them. Like you can use them to learn Swahili, teach Swahili, create YouTube tutorials in Swahili, listening to Swahili books and much more. So guys, the video is getting too long. That's it for this tutorial. But if you want to know how to save any of these voices as MP3, 
let me know in the comment section below and I'll show you how.